Hey, it's Alex Tepsik with Trimec. I'm going to show you how to measure the mass flow rate in your SOLIDWORKS flow simulation study. The model we're working with here today is a tubular exhaust manifold. We have a static pressure set at the inlets, and we have an environment pressure set at the outlet. With these two boundary conditions, we're expecting a flow in the negative Z direction. I'll show you two different ways of measuring the mass flow rate. The first involves measuring the mass flow rate through a plane. After the study has been solved, we'll insert a surface parameter. We'll specify a plane, and we'll choose mass flow rate as the parameter. This is the mass flow rate through all four tubes. If we'd like to measure the mass flow rate through individual tubes, then we'll have to try the second method. First, let's enable transparency in the model. As shown here, I've modeled four circular solid bodies. We'll use the faces of these bodies to measure the mass flow rate. First, let's set surface goals, one for each face. I'm going to select them using a selection set. We'll enable the option to create a goal for each surface. Now, before we solve the study, we need to make sure that these solid bodies do not participate in the flow simulation. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the flow. We'll do that by excluding them from the component control property manager. I've already gone ahead and done that. Now we'll run the study. Okay, once the study has been solved, we'll go ahead and insert a surface parameter. Here's the mass flow rate through one tube. If we'd like to show the mass flow rates in all tubes, we can do that by inserting goal plot. Here are the mass flow rates, and we can also export these to Excel. I hope this was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.